Welcome to Beyond Motion here in Naples, Florida. I'm Coach Wibbs and the athlete of the day is Nick. And today we're going to talk about elasticity and reactivity and how that affects and relates to athletes in our sports. So what we do here at Beyond Motion is we do skips to work on elasticity and reactivity. Um, what it does is it builds rhythm with the ground and it increases an athlete's ability to react to the ground and move with the ground. So the first thing I want to see Nick do is just going to skip for me. So the first thing he's going to do is a relaxed skip. So right away you can already see his good reactivity and elasticity with the ground. His feet, I don't know if you can see his feet, but you can see they're pretty quick off the ground. He's not getting a lot of air time, and he's pretty quick off that ground. So that's what I want to see as his coach. So now, Nick, I want to see it again, but be flighty with it. Give me some height. So if I see somebody getting height from it a little higher, go even, even more. So he's really jumping up. So now he's getting more of a, a skip and getting air with it, almost like a plyometric skip. Now, right now, I don't want to see something like that, so go back to the reactive. I want to see reactive. I want to see quick off the ground. So he did a good job with that. So we do a couple different variations here at Beyond Motion of uh, skips to work on our reactivity and elasticity. So I'm going to give you a couple examples today and uh, how that works with athletes. So the next one I want to see with Nick is a opposite arm, opposite leg skip. Why we use this one is a little separation of the body. So you can see his left leg goes up, his right arm goes up. So it's able to coordinate his whole body together. As you can see, he still has pretty good rhythm. Um, but with these skips, he's not maximizing his rhythm, if you will so he can be more rhythmic with the ground. So the next one I'll see is arms up skip. <clears throat> this is good for loosening up the shoulders as well, so again, he has that rhythm. So he's gonna do that one there and back. Um, why is reactivity and elasticity important to an athlete? Um, well, what it, or a lot of those words first. So elasticity, you think of a rubber band, how you know snappy he is. So his elasticity is how springy he gets off the ground. So do another skip, that same skip again for me, Nick. So as you can see, he it may not seem like he's springy, but he's getting that double touch on the ground every time. So that tells me he is springy with the ground. So elasticity is that uh, ground contact time. And if that's quick, then he's being elastic with the ground. Reactivity, what is reactivity with the ground? Reactivity is how quickly you can react with the ground. So doing the skips, we are improving that and increasing that. And how that carries over to the field is quicker I can react in my skip, quicker I can react on the field and make a move on the ball or whatever it may be. So now we're gonna go into a little bit more of our rhythmic skips. So I wanna see a jumping jack skip from Nick. So if you remember jumping jacks, then we're doing that into a skip form. So he's using his arm, using his legs, and now he's picking those knees up. He's getting a little pop. Now he's really starting to tap into that nervous system and really get into that elasticity and reactivity, and that's huge. So he's still quick with the ground. He's starting to pick up his legs up a little bit, but he's not so much worried about picking his knees up as he is with pushing away with that ground. So with each skip, he's really pushing, pushing that ground away. So now I want to see him do a wide skip. So now a couple variations with the rhythm. He's taking into a wide skip, still got good rhythm, good pop, using his arms. He's not being lazy in any way. Still good reactivity, good pop. Again, look at that feet, look at his feet with the ground. So almost each skip he's doing a double tap. So each one that goes up, it's tap, 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 tap. That's showing me great reactivity and elasticity with the ground. So now another one may get a little complicated. So we've done a lot of forward and back. Not all sports are played linearly. We need to do a little lateral. So he's going to do a lateral skip for me. So as you can see here, still the same rhythm. He's doing a great job keeping separation with his feet so he doesn't need to cross over, which is huge. Again, great rhythm, using the arms, quick off the ground, being very elastic, very reactive. That's what we like to see. So if we have an athlete coming in that has a hard time picking up these skips, this is gonna be a huge part of their workout. So if they're here, let's say for an hour workout, it may be 20 minutes plus of doing just skips to work on this. Because this has more care over to the field than having me, having them squat double their body weight, especially for young athletes. So I hope you learned a lot about elasticity and reactivity today. So here at Beyond Motion, that is how we work on those two things. If you have any questions, leave them below. Uh, if you have any other questions, visit our website, www.go2beyondmotion.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, beyondmotion.tv. Uh, have a great day.